Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you love coastal themed decor pieces, then you will love today's projects. Let's get started with our very first project. Using this glass sign from Dollar Tree, it does have the plastic type frame on the outside and then the glass insert. I'm going to clean this off really well with some rubbing alcohol because it had a lot of dust and dirt on it. After that has dried, I'm going to take some Waverly White chalk paint and give this two good coats on the outside frame as well as the inside of one of the sides of this sign. So this sign will be a dual purpose sign. So for the first project, we're going to work on one side. I'm making sure that I put nice even coats of the chalk paint on the glass because I am gonna cover this up using some of Folk Art's aqua acrylic paint. So I put the white chalk paint on to give it a nice base so that it would stick to the glass. And now I can very carefully go in and give this a nice even coat of the aqua colored acrylic paint. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Um, Plaid was nice enough to send me this acrylic paint and it is an absolutely gorgeous color. Once I have all of that filled in, and it only took one coat, you really can't see on the camera, it's a little bit darker right here, but when it dries, it is absolutely gorgeous. Using one of these wood cutouts, I believe I picked this up from Walmart for less than a dollar. I know Dollar Tree does sell these, but they're on a much smaller scale. I like the details in this one. I'm gonna sand down those edges because it did have a little bit of rough edging to it and give this two coats of the Waverly White chalk paint. Now I can attach this to the sign and I'm just going to use hot glue. And this is a very simple and easy project, but I absolutely love how it turned out. It is so beautiful. I love this aqua color with this bright white. And now you have a really cute decor piece in the coastal theme. Let me know what you think of project number one. Now we're gonna use this piece to create project number two, again, so it will be a dual purpose project. We're gonna create a beautiful tray that you can display your seashells on. Using the back side of the frame, I have already painted in the Waverly White chalk paint the outside and the inside edges of the frame. And using this adhesive cork sheet from Dollar Tree, I'm going to measure the inside, just the glass part, and then make my markings. And I can cut that down with my utility knife to get a nice straight edge so that it will fit perfectly into this frame. Once all of that is cut down, you just peel the adhesive backing on there and it's pretty sticky, so you don't even have to add any glue and you can place that in there. And again, such an easy and simple project. And now you have a beautiful tray, it almost looks like sand on the bottom, to display some of your seashells that you have collected. And when you get tired of looking at that, you can flip it over and use it as project number one. Let me know what you guys think of project number two. For project number three, we're gonna create this gorgeous decor piece, starting off with the plastic serving tray in the shape of a surfboard that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I gave this two coats of the Waverly White chalk paint to make sure that I covered up all of the um, colors that were already originally on the tray. Taking some painter's tape, I'm going to paint off so that I can create some different colored striping on this surfboard. And I just wanted to make sure that I painted the two outside edges and then the center, we're gonna paint a different color. So I am just using two pieces of the painter's tape lined up together as the thickness and try to line that up as even as possible on the other side. After I have my tape in place, I am going to use folk art. Again, Plaid sent me some a box of beautiful paints. This is called Surfboard, and I know you can find this at Hobby Lobby. I have seen this there the other day. It is a gorgeous color. This does take two coats because it's such a light color, and I'm going to paint the outside edges of the surfboard in the surfboard color, and the center I am going to paint with that same beautiful aqua color that we used in project number one. I'm gonna remove that tape and then I am gonna let this dry 
before I paint those two white pieces. So again, I used the chalk paint to make sure I had a good base so that my paint would adhere to the plastic um, because acrylic doesn't always adhere to the plastic as well as I would like, so I like to have that nice base paint in the chalk. Now I am taking Waverly White, Waverly White, sorry you guys, Waverly's chalk paint in the color Mineral and very carefully going over the two white stripes. Now you could certainly use your tape and tape off what you've already previously painted, but I just took my time and painted those two sections. And now I am going to very heavily distress this in the white chalk paint. I started off with a light coat. I wanted to have a very weathered look like the surfboard has been sitting out at the salty ocean and has a nice weathered feel to it. So I am going over this entire piece, heavily distressing it with a chip brush until I get the desired look that I am going for. Again, you will let that dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to take a large hurricane vase from Dollar Tree and some of Dollar Tree's nautical rope. And I am going to glue this using my hot glue around the bottom part. Just, I think I used about four, I went around about four times. And I'm just making sure that I glue it to the glass at the bottom. Make sure that it will sit flush on your table. And then I can glue it mostly to the rope until I go around. I think I went around four times, you guys. When you cut the end, you want to hot glue the end pieces together so that they don't unravel and then glue it to your rope. So yes, I did four times. And now I'm going to take Dollar Tree's sand. This is a very fine white sand. Fill that up until I get it just above the rope line so that you can see it. And I am using an LED candle, but you could certainly use any candle of your choice. Using one of the smaller Dollar Tree vases, I am going to create the same effect on this one. Again, because I have already cut this, I always make sure that you glue those ends together so that they don't unravel. And I will go around the bottom part of this vase as well. I'm not gonna add any sand to this one. I am just going to insert a candle. Again, you can use whatever candle of your choice. I liked the white candles. I like the way they look with this surfboard tray. And now you have a beautiful decor piece. I think this turned out so pretty. I absolutely love how this piece turned out. Again, you guys, I would love to know what you think of project number three. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you are enjoying today's video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and visit me on Instagram. I have a website with free printables and my Pinterest board. Let's get started on project number four. I found these gorgeous glassware from Dollar Tree that is in this beautiful blue color. This is real glass, it's not the plastic pieces. I picked up the wine glass and then the shorter version they are gorgeous just as is. I'm going to take these pieces and trace them onto some foam board at the rim of each of the glasses. So this will give it a nice fit when we create our candle holders. I'm going to take my utility knife and just cut this out and try to get it as close as possible. And once I have those cut out, I am going to make sure that they fit before I move on to anything else because when we put all our goodies on the inside, we don't want that to come out. Using the same fine sand from Dollar Tree, I'm going to fill these up maybe a third of the way, but you want to be able to see all your seashells and everything once you turn these upside down. I'm going to place some seashells that I've had for a long time inside of these and really matter how you put them in there because when you turn them over, you're gonna kind of shake them until you get them back to the top. Using some hot glue, I'm gonna go around the entire rim of the foam pieces, foam board pieces, and place this on top of the glassware. Let it get a good seal and then carefully turn it over to make sure none of the sand comes out. You wanna make sure you have a nice seal so that sand doesn't come out the bottom. Then you can shake it around until you get your seashells at the top of the sand. 
And I'm going to repeat that with the taller wine glass as well. After I have those in place and they have a nice good seal and nothing's going to come out, I am then going to take some of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I am going to wrap this around the bottom portion to cover up the foam board but also give it a really beautiful coastal vibe at the bottom here. I'm going to wrap that around. You don't want to wrap it around too high because you do want to be able to see your seashells and everything on the inside. So I wrap this around, I think twice. We'll see in just a minute. Again, I'm going to glue the ends on there to make sure they don't come apart. Yes, I wrapped that one around twice. I'm going to repeat this on the wine glass making sure that I cover up all the foam board. And as I go around, I do make sure that it's gonna sit flush because I don't want the rope to go under the bottom and then make it lean or tilt. Taking a piece of that nautical rope, I'm gonna pull two strands out of that so I can tie this around the top portion of our now candlesticks. I'm just gonna tie that into a simple knot and glue one of the seashells to the front. And once I have that in place, I'll flip it over and add a little bit more glue on the back to make sure that it stays in place. And then I can cut the extra string off. And now it has a beautiful little added touch there on the front. And I am going to do the exact same thing on the wine glass. So you could pick whichever seashell that you want to put on there. But I thought these were so cute. Now, I am using LED candles because although they're sturdy, um, I have animals in my house. So I certainly don't want them to knock them over with a flamed candle. So I'm going to use the LEDs. Now, for the pictures, I will show you the white colored candles because I do love this white color on there, but I don't have any white LEDs at the moment. So I'm going to purchase some of those because I like that color on these, but I think these turned out so gorgeous. Project number five is a lighthouse. We're going to start off with Dollar Tree's wood round piece Cut the hanger out. Now, this is optional. I fill this in with wood filler, but once we put this together, you can't really see it. I am using one of these plastic cups from Walmart. It was 50 cent. They had it on an end aisle. I'm going to hot glue this to the wood round, and this is going to become the base of our lighthouse. And see here, you can hardly see the hole there, but just in case, I did fill it in with some wood filler. I am taking some sandpaper because these wood pieces are very rough on the outside. Now, I'm going to use the lid off of one of these glass containers from Dollar Tree, and I thought it was the perfect fit. I'm going to hot glue this to the top part of our cup, and that's going to become the base for where we're going to set our lantern. Now this lantern came from Dollar Tree and I believe it was back at Christmas time. So I'm just going to break the handle off the top and set that to the side because I just wanted the lantern portion. I am going to carefully tape off the plastic piece there in the middle so that I don't get any paint on that. And it does take a little bit of time, but again, it is so worth it to be able to paint this and not get the paint on the plastic piece. After I have all my tape in place, I am going to paint this with my Waverly White chalk paint and give it a good two coats. And I'm very careful around where the holes are there that look like a vent because you don't want your paint to drip down onto the inside of your plastic piece. While that is drying, I'm going to give the base of the lighthouse two coats of the Waverly White chalk paint as well making sure that I do paint underneath this plastic piece because you can see that. So I'm going to make sure I paint this whole entire piece with the Waverly White chalk paint. And again, that takes two coats. And I'm trying to go in very even brush strokes so that it is pretty smooth texture on it. Now, after this dries, 
Um, this is how it looks with two coats on the lantern and two coats on the base of our lighthouse. I just freehanded the door and the window with a pencil, and now I can go over that with my oil-based black Sharpie. I'm just going to do the outline in the black Sharpie so I can try to make sure I get everything lined up without kind of going outside of my lines. And then I can fill that in with my black chalkboard craft paint, which I get at Dollar General. I love this paint. I love the texture and the color of it. And I think it's about $2 for that small bottle. After the paint dries, I'm going to take a piece of hemp rope and hot glue this around the window and the door. And I'm just trying to carefully go around it so that I can give this a little bit more texture around the window and the door. Now, when you do the door, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom because we are going to take some of that hemp rope and go around the base of the lighthouse. So when you add this on, you want to leave enough room so that you can pull your hemp rope around underneath the door portion. And I'm going to start on the back so that when I end, you don't see where the seams meet together. And I can add some nice texture to the bottom of this lighthouse. And here, this is what I was talking about, making sure you don't go all the way to the bottom underneath that door. Then I can just hot glue that in place, cut my extra off. And then I'm going to take the surfboard acrylic paint that Plaid sent me and paint the top part of the lighthouse and then the section that has the little holes there to give this a beautiful coastal color. I also made sure that I went around the rim at the top part that I painted of the lighthouse so everything looks nice and cohesive once you put it together. I am going to take that same surfboard color and paint the top outside portion of this and I just love, love, love how this color turned out. It is so pretty. That does take two coats again because it's pretty thin. Now that the paint has dried, I can remove all of my tape. And I am not going to glue this to the lighthouse because you want to be able to turn your light on now. Unfortunately, I think I need to replace the battery in this one because I didn't test it before I did all of this painting. It doesn't work, but I can just replace the battery. And now you have a gorgeous lighthouse that cost, what, less than $3. It turned out so pretty. You guys, if you have a favorite, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Please take care, and I will see you guys next time.